practices. Keepers of Akash. Affirmation for acceptance. I accept the world the way it is. The way the Creator created it. I accept all events in my life as the most perfect and serving my development. I accept all the people in my life and thank them for the help they give me because they are all my teachers. I thank the Creator for everything that He gives me, and gladly accept all His gifts. My energy flows easily and unhindered, for I accept everything that life brings me, because all these are gifts of the Creator. How can I not accept them? I trust the world and completely trust my destiny to the Creator, and I no longer worry about anything for my life. My destiny belongs to him and is in his caring hands. I love me. I love people. I love the world. I am a perfect being created by the Creator. I am in a perfect and harmonious world and I am filled with joy every day. Guardians of Akash The practice of launching energy from the past into the future. Imagine a figure 8 placed horizontally. This is your life, or rather your life energy. The left circle of the 8 is your past. The right circle of the 8 is your future and you are at the intersection of two circles of the figure 8 at the point of the present. Imagine in the left circle, in the circle of the past, those events and those people with whom you want to work out some issues with whom you had a difficult relationship. Let it be just like pictures or photographs, it doesn't matter. Just invite them into the circle and imagine in the right circle pictures of your future what you want to get in the future, what you want to become, visualize it. So, like in a photo album, you have two circles, a circle of the past and a circle of the future. Now you need to run the energy in the figure 8 starting from the point here and now. Run the energy from the point here and now through the 8 into the past and then describe the circle of the past. Draw it through the point here and now and transfer it to the future and so on. Moving and spinning the movement along the figure 8. Feel where there are plugs, where the energy cannot move or goes with difficulty. And so you can visualize in turn different events of the past and intentions of the future. And spin the energy in the figure 8, in the sign of infinity. The task is to make the movement of energy free and smooth in every picture of the past and future. Since your future has not yet been determined by you, the picture in the future will probably be the same. But insert different pictures on the left side of the figure 8 and watch how the energy moves. So, firstly, you will understand what events in the past prevent your energy from passing into the future. And secondly, you will connect the energy of past events with the energy of the future. The task is that no matter what pictures you place in the left and right parts of your figure 8, the energy should flow smoothly and freely. Combine it all with your breath. You move the energy with your attention along this figure 8 along with your breath. You breathe in the energy of the past and exhale it into the future, thus directing it. With this breath you will connect the past with the future and open the lines of the future. The second way is the opposite. You breathe in the future and breathe out into the past. In this way, you will change your vulgarity those blocks that bind you. When you move the energy in this way, the pictures can change, showing how the processing is going. And you can see how the initial pictures of the past and the future presented by you have changed because the past affects the future, and the future affects the past. Start your work with the situation with your first husband, because it prevents you from discovering the future now. When you work it out, you will see how it will become easier for you in the situation itself and your attitude towards it will change. You will become free from it. We are the architects of the universe. Practices. Affirmation Beautiful Goddess. We will give you an affirmation that you must not only repeat, but live inwardly. Only then it will work. Repeat this 33 times. And then repeat this every day. Waking up and falling asleep. Repeat this not monotonously as if plunging into these words, into these energies. And if you do everything correctly, then you will feel the movement of energies in yourself. And you will feel how you are filled with new energies. These are the energies that have stagnated in you. Find their way out and the energy flow becomes saturated and stable. Affirmation. I am a beautiful divine being, filled with light and love. I am a beautiful goddess bringing light and love to this world and everything in me is beautiful and perfect 
Just as God is perfect and beautiful in me, every moment I discover new qualities of the beautiful Goddess in myself and show them to the world. There is nothing and no one that can prevent my revelation of the Divine, for this is my true and natural quality and state, to be a beautiful Goddess and show my magnificent and perfect Divinity. Karmic Lessons Show the world the miracle of your love and faith. Practices Angel Wings Stop your thoughts and focus your attention within yourself. Feel the energy moving and flowing through you. Next, focus your attention on the area where you imagine the wings of angels growing and imagine those wings spreading. At first it will be such a tickling sensation. These energies are looking for an outlet. You understand that wings are energy whirlwinds, energy flames. Imagine that from two or more points, as you can, flames begin to erupt from the back. You can compare this with the nozzles of a rocket and an airplane. Little by little, slowly, begin to unfold these wings, these nozzles. Take your time, because this is a fairly strong process. Just exercise every day and gradually you will begin to feel these energy wings behind your back. Gradually you will learn how to straighten them and fold them, so to speak. And then simply, closing your eyes, or even without closing your eyes, imagine that you are rising. Wave those wings and rise above the ground. Of course, at first it will be the lifting of subtle bodies, but sooner or later they will drag the dense body along with them and you will fly. Trust in it. You are all angels and it's time for you to spread your wings. Do not forget about the state of fullness. If you are empty inside, not overfilled with energies, then these wings will not unfold. You will not have enough, so to speak the flows of your flight for you are flying on your own channels of joy and love remember the expression from happiness it flies as if on wings or winged it's literal if you are filled with joy and love then your wings are full of wind and you fly have a good flight practices practice wings of the spirit in a calm state of consciousness in a state of meditation try so to speak to feel with your attention the boundaries of your bodies, try to feel them. You will easily find the boundaries of the physical body and the astral body. Then they go to the expansion, so to speak. Gradually begin to feel with your attention the boundaries of all other bodies. At the same time, you need to be attentive in the heart chakra and, so to speak, balance the body. You can grope bodies from the chakras, that is, in order to tune in, Say, to the mental body, you need to focus on the will chakra and from there begin, so to speak, unfolding the contour of the body that is feeling. You'll understand when you start trying. And so gradually with all bodies, the task is to be able to keep all seven bodies with attention and at the same time the central chakra. This will give a balancing of the bodies and there, so to speak, straightening or something. That is, now they are in some places, figuratively speaking, crumpled and unbalanced. Therefore, this practice will allow you to straighten them, so to speak. It can be said to spread the wings of the spirit. I am the Buddha. Practices. Practice the eye of God. Contemplation. This word already contains the answer. You must become a mirror of the world. A mirror that impartially reflects the fabric of reality without experiencing any emotions or evaluations for this. Become a mirror that seems to work in two directions. It reflects the divine world into the human world, and in the divine world human. A kind of membrane through which the fabric of the world passes, and you contemplate like a mirror. That is, you simply observe these reflections, and you, like a mirror, like a membrane, are like a conductor of some and other energies. Divine energies into the human world and human energies into the divine world. And this division itself is conditional. And this line passes in you. It runs in each of you and of us. And it is, so to speak, a piece of a huge mirror. But human perception, immersed in one of the sides, simply forgets about the divine because the focus is shifting and consciousness becomes no longer a mirror and a portal it moves from the membrane in the direction of the human and it gets stuck there and there is another way when on the contrary consciousness does not want to go deep into the human and is directed through the membrane into the divine 
and dissolves there. And the choice is yours which way to choose. Now we can say that your consciousness is in the human field, but already very close to the transition membrane. But in order to become contemplative, one must become this membrane itself. How to do it? What should be practiced? It's very simple. Your thoughts are a powerful apparatus for creating and focusing energy. And you yourself can direct the energy of your attention and create whatever you want. You just don't know how to do it yet. Treat your thinking apparatus properly. The answer is simple. Imagine yourself as a mirror. And to begin with, Imagine yourself as a mirror that simply and impartially reflects the human world. Does a mirror appreciate what it reflects? His task is simply to reflect. And in order to reflect, you need to constantly be the focus of consciousness in this reflective lens. That is, in the process of reflection. But for this you do not need to make any special efforts, but simply be a mirror. Imagine yourself reflecting everything that falls into the field of view of your mirror consciousness. Imagine yourself as a portal inward, when you simply reflect the whole world around you inward. Simple and impartial. And this should become a constant practice. When you start to appreciate something, you sort of isolate it from the general field of reflection, as if you direct microscopic vision at it as if you enlarge it and begin to consider the details. Then everything else, as it were, disappears from the field of your attention and blurs. But just don't zoom in and out like nothing through binoculars. Passes are all uniform and priceless. And then you will discover in the world a lot of things that you did not notice before. And then new traps of attention will appear when the consciousness tries to cling to the new. But you will not give in but you will remain an impartial mirror. That is to contemplate the essence of things. And sooner or later you will discover that everything and every phenomenon and every person is such a mirror portal. And through this portal you can penetrate with your attention into the world of divinity of every person and every phenomenon and everything. This will be the contemplation of things. And then you will find that this field of divinity is one for all. And it doesn't matter whether you enter it through your mirror portal or through the mirror of another. The theme of the mirror is very clear to you. Because if you know how to penetrate into the divinity of everything then a person will not be a mirror for you, but will be a portal for you. And now most of you see in all phenomena and in all people each of you passes this way, early or late. At first, it simply bounces off the mirrors of others' attention. Therefore, he begins to understand that behind the mirror, behind the painted hearth, there is a certain door hiding and trying to open it. Then he begins to understand that a person simply mirrors and reflects him and therefore tries to penetrate this mirror and discover the true world. And gradually his spiritual vision clears up and he discovers that there is a whole cosmos behind the mirrored door and that this is the cosmos of entry into one's divinity. And this point is the point from within. And all this is one. Try to become such a conscious mirror that does not just reflect everything but accepts and impartially passes through itself everything that it observes into the divine world. Be simply the eye of God, who, together with you and through you, contemplates the human world. Feel like an eye of God, and sooner or later you will feel aware of yourself as God himself. Practices of time. How to consciously enter a point in space. To be at this point, not to be afraid and to understand what exactly you want. If you do not want anything, then you will fall into infinity. But maybe it's your choice to go to infinity. Right now, the first step is to just try. You immerse your attention in a point of space and just stay in it. And the codes will open themselves. They do not need to be spoken or included. Everything works automatically. That is, you enter with your attention, which is the identified code of space into the point of the portal of space and the codes start working by themselves. Further, everything depends on your readiness, on how much you hold back the process, on your blocks and fear, 
on your desires or unwillingnesses. All this automatically launches the system like an energy flow. We are the hierarchs of time. Practices of time. To be everywhere at the same time. To be everywhere at the same time. Try to be consciousness in all points of space at the same time. This is difficult because such consciousness is always fixed on the objective part. Therefore, to begin with, you are given the practice of defocusing consciousness and erasing boundaries. The practice of observing not objects, but the voids between objects. And then you will also begin to direct your attention there. Because now your attention allows these areas and is entirely focused on the objective part of the world. That's how you were taught. And it needs to be expanded. First, try to enter with consciousness into a certain point of space in the void between objects, and feel the movement of the flow. Imagine how you plunge into this point, and you will understand that there is infinity. At first you will be lost, but sooner or later you will realize that through this point you are able to enter all points at once or travel through points of space. Practices from the Buddha. Practices of merging with the world. Do not separate yourself from the world. In everything, when you see a bug crawling on a leaf of a tree, Imagine that you are crawling on a leaf of a tree. When you see an eagle soaring in the sky, imagine that you are the one soaring in the sky. When you look at a river, imagine that you are the one flowing. When you look at the clouds, imagine that you are floating in the sky, etc. Find yourself in everything. It is very important. I just observed the world and connected with it. It's so easy. When you follow the stream with attention, you become it. When you follow the flight of an eagle with your attention, you feel like an eagle. When you look at fire, you become it. Practices from the Buddha. The practice of contemplation inside. It means moving the point of observation on which you are fixed. You observe the outside world. What is outside your form? Try to observe your inner world. What is inside your form? And for this it is not necessary to close your eyes as many of you do. Because when you close your eyes, you separate yourself from the outside world and thus generally separate such concepts as external and internal. Try to observe consciousness everywhere. Try to observe emptiness everywhere, both outside and inside. Try to look at the world as a void, as consciousness. And not just consciousness, but your consciousness. Everything around you is your consciousness. Watch it. Then you will start to wonder, and who in me observes my consciousness outside of me. It's you too. So meet, so to speak, look at yourself, with your consciousness and in this observation and merge with yourself. Feel the unity. This is true self-contemplation. Not in the separation of myself and not myself. And in the merger of the all. The moment you feel the merging of the outside view and the inside view, you will feel the depth of perception. You simultaneously look at the world around you from yourself and from the side of the world. These are all your eyes of perception. Connect